Peace family, this is Coach Chris, your intuitive holistic coach, coming to give you guys another reading. I hope all is well. I hope that you're loving yourself, protecting yourself, and respecting yourself along your journey. Okay, family, so I am going to clear the energy with the singing ball. Shay. All right, fam. So it is late, but Source told me to come and give you guys this message. So I'm going to come. I'm here to give the message. If I sound a little bit <laughs> sleepy, it's because I'm getting a little bit sleepy. But like I said, I hope all is well. I hope y'all enjoying yourself. I'm glad. Y'all, we made it through this week. <laughs> this week, uh, I guess I should say last week has been a week. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Has been a week, buddy, I tell you. But we made it, family. We made it. All right, Soul Spirit, God, Divine Ancestors, we want messages from you and only you. We ask for your protection during this reading. We thank you for everything you've done, you're doing, and you will do in the future. We ask for clarity and guidance along our journey. I share some of you, and so it is. So, spirit guides, divine ancestors, we want messages from you and only you. What is in the collective's energy? What messages do you want us to know? Okay. I think this is a lot already. All right. First card, Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords, Four of Cups, the Page of Swords, ooh, Six of Wands. All right, baby. Okay. I love it, love it, love it. The Fool card, ooh, the Empress. Okay. You made it through, baby, and it's paying off. So, Spirit, God, divine ancestors, whatever messages do you have for the collective? What is in the collective's energy? All right, we have the Five of Cups. Okay. So, moving on from some loss. From some setbacks. Ooh. Okay, okay, simmer down. <laughs> Where did it go? It went in my okay. It's flying the tower card again. Baby, a lot of things are changing fast. What is that called? A lot of things are changing suddenly in your life. You're moving, you're okay. So the other card that I couldn't find was the five of swords. So some conflict came right after that towel. So change is coming after some conflict, a disagreement, coming out of an abusive relationship, maybe a two of swords, you deciding whether you want to come out of this abusive relationship. So let's start guys, one more card to complete the reading. Page of Wands, okay. Discovery. Okay, you about to explore something. Some news is going to come in. You about to get freedom. So whatever. <laughs> the decision looks like it's already made, family. With this. Um... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to call out what we have again. We have the... We have the Six of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, Page of Swords, Six of Wands. Shit, shit six, six, six going down here. Even though the Tower card is a 16, it has a six in it and it's like six, six, six going straight down this line. That's a good, that's a good omen. That's a good numbers, family. Okay, uh, the Fool card. 
the Empress. We have the Five of Cups, the Tower card, Five of Swords, Two of Swords, and Page of Wands. Okay. All right. <laughs> So some, okay, so, yeah, there's been some, some conflict or some kind of competition, some kind of, you've been dealing with some disagreements, some, maybe some bullying, somebody's been in an abusive relationship with this five of swords, um, that's about to change, something might be a little chaos, it might just be a sudden change. You might just wake up and be out of this two of swords energy and no longer indecisive, no longer weighing your options or avoiding making a decision. You are about to make a decision. With this ace of swords, you're about to get some mental clarity. And this new beginning is going to happen with the ace of swords and with the fool card. So, you're... Either you've already come out, you're getting, you're realizing or accepting this loss. You're starting to move on from this abusive relationship or these abusive connections. Some kind of disagreement, some kind of conflict. Um, and Source does not want you to stay in that. So a tower moment is happening or has happened to remove you from that situation because you, you kept like... <laughs> kept going back and forth you were indecisive as to whether it was time for you to leave or not maybe people were um every time you would muster up the strength to leave somebody would start to be nicer to you or they would tell you how much they love you or that they don't want you to leave that they need you or try to manipulate you and make you feel like you need them but it was very toxic whatever it was whether it was a job or a relationship um platonic, familiar, whatever it was, it was not healthy. And that's why Source is sending that tower moment or has sent that tower moment to remove you from that. And you're starting this new beginning, this new journey with the Fool card and the Ace of Swords. Now, you... Like, like, source, like it's showing with this two of swords. You had become complacent in that connection. You had decided that, well, it's better than nothing. Or you didn't think enough of yourself to, you didn't think enough of yourself or you didn't, you you your self-esteem wasn't high enough. Um, wasn't high enough for you to know that that relationship was not equally yoked with the six of uh, pinnacles. It wasn't balanced. Um, that connection. And so now you are going to accept that you no longer need to be connected to that energy, to that environment, whatever it is for you. This is a general reading. It'll be different for everybody. But you decided to release it, or you are deciding to release it and to move on, or to just forgive yourself for some personal setbacks or losses that you may have had. And you're stepping out. You're taking a step out on faith with the Fool card and the Ace of Swords. But it's going to be a breakthrough. It's not like you're just taking a chance of taking a risk with the Fool card by itself. No, you have the Ace of Swords. So this is a breakthrough with some mental clarity. You are no longer in the Two of Swords energy. You are in the Ace of Swords. So you are you are making decisions. You have clarity. Your mind is sharpened. It's um, that you gain the experience and the wisdom, so it'll be 
you it'll be easier for you this go around because you have that wisdom and you have that experience you are getting your freedom and this is exciting this is an exciting time for you because you are gaining your freedom you're on your way to your empress energy you're on your way to abundance with the empress card with the six of pentacles with the six of wands baby <laughs> you're gaining progress you're gaining momentum you're entering a season of good fortune but you had to you had to be without so that once you did gain this abundance you would be able to you would value it you had to see that you yourself are the prize that you yourself are abundant that you are royalty you're not what those people tried to make you think that you were they were trying to they were trying to blind you from knowing who you truly were were oh my god okay so y'all <laughs> so i watched the um what is it stardust and I know I probably saw it when I was a kid, but uh, I saw it again today, and it definitely resonates with this with this reading because um, the guy in there I don't even know his I think Tristan was his name. His name was Tristan, and uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because my name is Kristen. But anyway, Tristan he. He was the child. He was a prince. He didn't know it. His mom was a princess and she got uh, captive. She was held captive by this witch. And for years. And she met her daddy. Or she, she met his daddy. And after she had her baby, she had somebody deliver the baby to the daddy. He was in human town. And the mama, she was a princess. She was in a town with all the other, like, witches and all the other people. <laughs> um, and so, and look at that empress energy. You're, you're gaining your crown, but man, and then they got the crown and the six of wands too. You are about to become royalty with the six of pentacles. See the 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 <laughs> the king, the queen, the empress, the emperor, the god, the goddess within you, that light within you. And the movie is called Stardust, and it's because um, I don't know if I explained the whole movie. It was a long that movie, like two hours long, y'all. But the king was dying, and he didn't know what happened to his daughter. He thought one of the sons killed him, cause you know how those families be. They they be rotting, y'all. They be killing each other. <laughs> And so he thought one of his sons had killed her. So he had this um, necklace. Um, and he said he couldn't make the choice. He had three other sons. He was like, um, so he was going to let the chain make the choice. So he took it off right before he died. And it went, it like levitated in the air. And then he died after he spoke his words. And the three sons, princes, were standing there waiting because they thought it was going to go to one of them. But it shot out and went all the way across, like, the unit, <laughs> all the way across the skies. And it landed um, somewhere on Earth. And the guy, the, the prince, the princess's son the half-breed that's basically what he was because the daddy was a human um <laughs> the daddy was a human so the 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 what came out of the sky with that chain it was a star so the chain i guess connected to one of the stars and the star um came down into the ground like it was a meteor and it made this huge crater and the dude he was in love with this girl that didn't really love him and he would go and he was he was trying to get with her and she was you know the popular girl of the town and he wanted her but she somebody else was supposed to propose to her and he had called her and asked her to a date she got him fired from his job just a whole bunch of like i say a, a 
abusive or toxic relationship, toxic connections that do not serve you. But for some reason, you feel like you need to prove yourself to these people and you don't because you are, I mean, <laughs> above them, I'm not going to, people look, it is what it is. Some people are royalty and some people are not. This is not ego. This is not being cocky. You just are that being. You are a goddess. You are an empress. You are a god. You are an emperor. You you are that being, family. Don't let other people try to humble you or tell you that you are not who you are. That's why you're in... That energy, you were in the energy of the two of swords, the energy always in battle with people with the five of wands, with the four of cups, the five of cups, because you were always, you couldn't, the God in you, the goddess in you could not accept the projections that people were putting on you. But it was so much. So it had you in your feelings and it had you confused because you were disconnected from your family. Just like the princess was captive, her child was disconnected on top of that. He was he was half human. So he didn't know who he was. And a lot of you don't know who you are because your lineage was robbed from you. So Source is saying, this is a new chapter, a new beginning with that um, full moon in Capricorn that ended that 16 year cycle. And then on, well, it's not today, it's the next day, but on July 26th, Chiron went into retrograde. Chiron is the wounded healer. So a lot of things that we have been working on, that we have been healing for the past seven years, that's coming to an end. Chiron has gone into retrograde. So it's going to revisit some things and a new chapter is starting to wrap that up, to wrap those, um, I think until the 29th, possibly, I think it is, but a new chapter is starting to wrap up those things that we have been working on, those wounds, check and see where you, um, what your Chiron is or what sign your Chiron is in, um, because, Those things are being wrapped up. The loose ends are being tied and all that is happening so that this new beginning can start. You can enter into the food car. You can start fresh and new and have a new start with the Ace of Swords. Y'all, this movie is so good. Y'all need to watch it because he he left to go find the star. He Okay, so he, he brought the girl out on a picnic that didn't value him. And... He she told him that the other guy, the popular dude in town, was gonna propose to her in a week for her birthday. And he was like, Well, I would she said he's going such and such like to the next town to get her a ring. And he was like, I would go across oceans and mountains to get you a ring. And she was like, you know, just dragging him along. And she was he was like, Well and then they had a shooting star and he said I'll say I'll get that star and bring it back to you. And she was like, okay, you have a deal. You have a week. So he left to try and get the star. Now, the humans had a wall and the old man was guarding the wall. So he couldn't pass it because the old man beat him up. <laughs> and he couldn't pass the wall. And he went back and told his daddy. And his daddy had, they called it a Babylon candle or the candle of Babylon. So outside of that wall was Babylon. Y'all, this hit hard. Okay, so, um, because when you think about it, if you grow up in religion and, you know, they talk about Babylon, Babylon, and people say America is Babylon, this whole system is Babylon, but yeah, but, um, it's, that's cool. I didn't even piece that together until just now, but family. Okay, so Babylon, it was a candle, a, a Babylon candle. And that candle, when you light it, you just think of where you want to be and it takes you there. So his daddy was like, that's how his daddy got out of the wall the first time. So his daddy had a Babylon candle. It wasn't big. It was small. But he lit the Babylon candle and he ended up by the, the star, which was a woman who had the chain, the necklace with the crystal in it. 
and um he found her and he, and he was like are you my mom because his dad told him about his mom and she was like do i look like a mom <laughs> it was good but he ended up taking her he was like i have the babylon candle and if you come with me to victoria who was the popular girl um i can bring her this uh star um the crystal and then I'll let you go back home. You can use the Babylon candle to go back home because she wanted to go back up in the sky and the stars. Um, and she was like, okay, I'll go with you. So the whole, it was a lot going on in that movie, but a witch was trying to get her. The other prince was trying to get her and they was killing each other all trying to get her. Everybody was trying to get her and like her light shines so bright and that's another reason why you had all these conflicts people were in competition with you that's another reason why people would steal from you or try to bully you or be sneaky and you would end up in these toxic connections and relationships it's because you have a light that shines bright when you're happy everybody is drawn to your light you're like a light bug you're like a um like like a light to a moth like I just heard from the fire we make. It's getting hotter and hotter. Like a moth to a flame. If y'all haven't heard that song, that's Alicia Keys and Maxwell. You can listen to that song. But something, your light is so bright, family. You are a star. You are a bright light. And when you are happy, when your cup is full, when you are... When you feel your best self when you are not trying to conform to the world and allow other people to project things on you and be what other people think that you're supposed to be you shine so bright and people can see it and that's why they cling to you and then they get jealous and then they want to um control you and a lot of times they want to possess you and people <sighs> It's a spiritual thing. And if you're not connected to yourself spiritually, if you don't know who you are, if you haven't taken the time to get to know who you are, if you don't know where you come from, if you don't know your bloodline, say if you were uh, from, you know, um, adopted, you were for a foster kid, whatever the case is, even if you're born with your family, you can still not know who you are because they, they may not know who they are either. You have to take the time to get to know who you are so that, you can know how to protect yourself and know what's best for you. And that comes with this full journey, with taking these new steps, starting this new beginning and living life and learning. The humans had a wall to protect them from Babylon, <laughs> um, basically. And he needed to get out of that little environment that was supposed to be safe for him. He needed to get out of that environment and he needed to take the fullest journey and he needed to learn things. Like he couldn't really fight before he um, left that wall, before he left that town. He couldn't really fight. But when he got out, they ended up on this like pirate ship that was in the sky that was collecting electricity. And the pirate, the captain was, it was wild y'all, but he ended up learning how to fight with the captain. Um, and he just looked so much better, y'all. Like, he looked so much better towards the end after he went on his fool's journey. And that's just what's happening for you. You're about to start your fool's journey. And it is gonna, you are gonna be victorious. When you come back in the scene, you left like this. You're leaving like this because of all of the hell you've been through, all of the conflict, all of the competition, all of the rivalries, people trying to stab you in your back, all of that there. You left like that. And... Um, this is how you're leaving, not knowing who you are, being blinded to your gifts, to your talents, to your light, being sad because you feel alone, being sad, and you're learning to move on. Because you're moving on with the Five of Cups, because you're accepting that fate and you're learning, you're going to find peace because you're taking this food journey, you're starting this new, this new quest. You're gaining more information and people are watching and people are lurking with the page of swords people are trying to be nosy and see what you have going on 
um just stay in your lane stay in your lane focus on you do the work that you need to do on you and you will come out victorious with this six of wands and the six of pentacles baby you are going to come out victorious with the six of wands and the six of pentacles people People are not gonna recognize you when you walk. When you, I just heard when I walk through dip, mm, mm. when I walk through, when I walk, through. <laughs> you coming in and they gonna have to kneel at your feet. Do you hear me? Y'all see this six of pentacles? This is baby. You gonna have? Let me say you gonna have weight in the. You gonna have so much to give. You gonna. Because, okay, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, royalty, royalty, empress energy. So, like I said, he didn't know that he was a prince. So, he ended up, um, fast forward, they ended up defeating the witch or whatever and defeating all of the, the everybody, you know. He ended up being the one after, um, the star, the girl, they fell in love. So he didn't, he wasn't with the other girl. They fell in love and him and the star, the prince and the star fell in love and the witch was about to kill them. And she was like, she was like, hold me tight and close your eyes. So they hugged, they embraced each other. He closed his eyes and she shone, she shone so bright. Like she lit up the entire, it was a castle that those witches were living in. She lit up the entire castle and the witch blew up because her light was so bright. That's what's about to happen to you, family. All of those people that were naysayers, that were starting to mess with you, that were trying to cut you down, that were jealous of you. They are about to be blown out of the water, blown out of the park. They are going to turn to ashes and to dust. They are having these tower moments. They are having a conflict. They are going through hell, family. Uh, they're about to, if they ain't going through it yet, they are about to. And we don't wish things on people like this, but this is coming from source. This is not me. I Look, <laughs> I don't know y'all people, but this is what source is saying. Those people... Just because they came after you, they had choices just like you. They could have left you alone. They could have did their work. They could have did the work to shine their light because we are all star beings. We all have light. We have light and dark. We practice duality. They chose the darkness. They chose to be energy vampires and, you know, suck your light and try to deplete you and try to take all of your love and everything from you instead of doing the work that they needed to do to heal their bloodlines and their lineages to grow and to shine bright like a like a diamond you hear me that is why they will have to kneel to your feet and they will be blown away you're gonna be coming through on your horse on your pony and they had a unicorn in the movie too y'all you're gonna be walk you're gonna be coming through on your stallion or whatever it is that you have and <laughs> could be a car that could whatever it is for you we, you know we in 2024 but you're gonna come through on whatever it is you riding through and everybody gonna watch you and everybody gonna you're gonna reap your rewards family you're gonna achieve all the goals that you want to achieve you are about to attain those goals you're about to have victory and you're gonna get public recognition because you have finally sat on your throne and gained that self-confidence your self-confidence your self-esteem has risen just because just like your mental clarity your mind has risen your soul has risen your spirit has risen emotionally you have risen that's why you have the empress energy because you made it baby you made it to royalty you learn to love yourself. You started nurturing yourself. You, you have developed. You are reaching your goals. You're growing. You're evolving. You're taking actions on your goals. You're taking actions on taking care of yourself. You're not allowing grief. You're not allowing depression. You're not allowing whatever ails you. 
You're not allowing those low vibrational things that were able to hold you back before. That Chiron energy, the wounded healer, the wounds. You're not allowing your wounds to keep you stuck, to keep you blinded, to keep you indecisive. You're not allowing that conflict that you are having within you. You're not allowing it anymore. Mental. You're not allowing people to come and disturb your peace. You've worked so hard to gain this peace. You're not about to let anybody come in and disturb your peace. With the Ace of Swords and anybody who tries to come in and disturb your peace, Source is going to send a tower moment. You are learning to cut it out. And if not, Source is going to send a tower moment and you're going to have to relearn that lesson. So Source is saying, take Take care of yourself. Continue to nurture yourself because you're elevating to this empress level and you you about to be paid. When I tell you with the six of pentacles, y'all, you are about to be Roger said royalty, royalty, royalty. You are about to be paid the six of pentacles, the six of wands, the empress, the fool card, the ace of swords, family, the page of wands. This is new discoveries, limitless potential you are getting freedom you're about to explore with this food cart you're about to explore so many different parts of you that you never knew you had you may be traveling coming soon when you get this money because maybe you haven't been able to travel maybe that's always been a dream of yours you may be traveling you may do a travel vlog you may um you may just Whatever your business is, whatever it is that you are creating will reach people all over the world. It's going to reach people all over the world because you shine like a diamond. You are you are a star, family. You're a star. You got to embrace that. You got to accept that. You got to affirm that to yourself. Because it's happening. It is happening regardless. Like it can happen sooner rather than later. Um, it's up to you when it happens, honestly. Because it's, it's right there. It's coming. But if you want to prolong it and keep trying to hold on to those relationships, you're going to keep getting tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. And you don't need that. Just let it go. Release all of that. Move on. Accept that it is not for you. Accept that it was temporary. Take your lessons so you can get these blessings, baby. That's how you get your blessings. You learn your lessons. And that's how you get your blessings, family. Not shame. But y'all watch that movie, Stardust. It's an older movie. It's good. What's his name? Um, Not Leonardo DiCaprio. Robert De Niro. And Robert De Niro playing it. He was the captain, y'all. <laughs> It's funny, Robert De Niro. Oh, Source, we see your protection during this reading. Oh my God, y'all. Shine your light in full spectrum. Shine your light in full... Didn't I tell you you were bright, family? Ah, shade. Shine on all of them. Ah, shade. Thank you, Source. Messages from you and only you, your protection. Guidance and clarity for the collective. Two more cards for the collective. From the Beyond Lumeria deck. Source Spirit Guides. Okay. Ooh. Crystal keys. And then that's that crystal, y'all. That that thing um <laughs> that chose the royalty. So you might want to get some crystals. And it's a number 22. That is a master number. Check and see what that is. That might be one of y'all. Your master number. Source Spirit Guides. One more card for the collective from the Beyond Lumeria Oracle Deck. Source Spirit Guides. One more card. Thank you, Ashe. Reclaim your energy, family. Your royal energy. Ashe. What the? See, Source. And y'all, I was starting to feel tired too. And Source was like, girl, if you don't get to that table, don't play with me. And I said, you got it, right? You got that. <laughs> you got that. You got that. All right, family. So, this is wild, y'all. This is wild. Okay. So, we gonna start with Crystal Keys. Crystal Keys, family. Shine on all of them. That is wild. <laughs> I love it. Okay. 
Hidden wisdom codes, potent information, Lumerian, seed crystals, seeing your triggers as a gift, awareness of drama creating patterns, healing the earth by looking at your inner environment, healing through awareness. All right, Lumerian quartz crystals are special pieces of clear quartz with indented ridges running across them. They are known as seed crystals because they are said to have been found individually buried in sand and earth rather than attached to a larger cluster the way most crystals are, like stars. Aware of their oncoming destruction, the Lumerians embodied information about how to avoid a similar catastrophe on crystals and buried them. The ridges on the crystals are believed to be Lumerian inscriptions. These crystals are reappearing now as this knowledge is again relevant. This card is about deciphering wisdom codes. We may wonder how to access information regarding our spiritual growth as we navigate our everyday reality. The wisdom comes through inner paradoxes. When we are truly present, awed and creative flow are a state of surrender. It may come as riddles and in most unlikely places. Zen Buddhism taps into this using cones. Paradoxical statements the mind cannot fathom. And that cones word is spelled K-O-A-N-S if somebody was wondering because I might have said it wrong. Okay, to bypass traditional understanding and allow spiritual epiphany and a deeper knowledge of the soul to surface. Key wisdom codes can come to us when we are triggered. They are that tower moment. <laughs> they are accessible in those moments when everything becomes more emotional, dramatic, or painful than it needs to be. Here, when light shines on our shadow, we are graced with significant insight into places we can grow and evolve from. Although it might take courage and a healthy dose of self-awareness <laughs> to embrace the wisdom of those moments. It's amazing how much energy, freedom, and expansion comes as a result of deciphering these bubbles of information, tailored especially for us. Sometimes insight is so perfectly constructed within a scenario that it gets right into our most tender spots for the perfect healing. These are potent codes as all personal power struggles and ego problems affect the bigger picture of how the world operates. Our shadows are unresolved wisdom codes. Avoidance makes them spiral out to aid in the construction of a world we don't actually want. In that card, um, hooey, <laughs> that two of swords, avoiding. Child, okay, where was I? We don't actually want both individually and collectively. When we see this information as the gift that it is, we can cultivate presence and begin to see between the lines of our inner workings. The world needs as much light as possible, so we do not have a repeat of what happened in Lumeria. Let's allow ourselves to see our shadows as an opportunity to bring more light into our being and heal the world from these dark foundations. Divinatory meaning. Be inspired to find the wisdom hidden in those times when you feel triggered. There is so much information within our raw and intense reactions that when you choose to be present with what is coming up, and peel back the layers great spiritual insight will unveil itself in a way tailored just for you if we could all learn to see our triggers in the bigger picture so much confrontation and upset would be lessened power struggles and fear would diminish and we would see greater compassion across the planet perspective and misunderstanding would shift and the way people want to be loved will be experienced without distortion. These are the seeds for peace on earth. I say family. 
<laughs> star seeds, y'all. Y'all are the star seeds. Y'all are. Y'all were planted here on earth like that. See that star fell on the ground, fell to the ground and made that crater. Y'all were planted here on earth as well. And now you are growing. You are evolving. You are coming out of the earth and you are shining bright. God and lights to help other souls. Shine your light. Don't be afraid to shine your light and be who you are, family. That's the next card. And that's number 44, y'all. Two master numbers right on top of each other. I did not do that on purpose. 44 and 22 and 44. 4 has been so significant this year. The number 8 is significant, but 44, 4 and 4 is 8, family. 2 and 2 from 22 is 4, y'all. Look, look, look up 222, look up 444, <sighs> family. Okay, shine your light. This is wow. Okay, source be sourcing. I love it. I love when I listen and <laughs> and it and source show out. Okay, all right, shine your light. Doing what you love. Time to thrive. Giving from the overflow. Life purpose. Being authentically you compassionate self-empowerment loving life trying things you resonate with bringing joy to others by being an inspiration you are amazing there is no one like you and no one can do you as you can yet we sometimes feel that we need to be a certain way a way not aligned with our authentic self you may feel obliged to be something or someone. You may have stopped doing some of the things you love due to time or energy restraints. When you take time to do what truly makes you shine each day, you will light up and bring joy to other people's worlds. As you go about your life, you will have a sense of purpose and feel naturally inspired to fulfill your responsibilities. You will also have more energy and love to overflow. Doing what we love can bring so much goodness to our hearts and it filters into other areas of our life. Yet when life is demanding more of us, we give up the things we love to make way for more practical pursuits. When we finally come back to these pursuits, we wonder why we waited. For much of my life, I did not paint as I thought it was self-indulgent. I questioned how doing what I love could be beneficial to others. Now, the constant messages of gratitude I receive for anchoring my visions on canvas make me wonder how I ever thought that way. It takes discipline to do what we love, especially if we are natural givers. It is easy to get caught up with other people's lives. There can also be a strong cultural belief that fulfilling a creative need is selfish. The irony here is that tending to our own needs harms none, and we will have a lot more to give. <laughs> It is time for us to collect our light and shift the vibration here on earth. Starting with our inner sense of being. Try those things you have always wanted to explore. Weave enjoyment through your day-to-day -day experience. Find purpose and the inspiration to spring out of bed in the morning. It is time to thrive. Divinatory meaning. Where can you shine your light? When you have a purpose, you will also have limitless energy and no joy. Where can you grow enthusiasm in your life? Consider how you can be more aligned with your passions so you can harness your light. It may be time to return to something you enjoyed but stopped doing for no good reason. You are a sovereign being. Regain compassion and empowerment and remember what lights up your world. I say, family. Yeah, didn't I say star seed? The next card is star seed elemental in the book. <laughs> Children as teachers, fun, lightheartedness, joy, laughter, newly incarnated souls, the child within maintaining an inquisitive perspective, wonder and imagination i say and i was just i kept 
since I've been doing this reading, I just keep hearing Sagittarius. So you might be a Sag, you might be dealing with Sag, you might know uh, something may have happened significant in Sag season or this Sagittarius season that's coming up at the end of the year. So I don't know, that has some kind of significance. Okay, the next card, just remember to shine your light family. Next card, full spectrum. Okay, full spectrum. Creating heaven on earth by honoring the perfection of nature cycles. Going beyond the judgment of good and bad. The merging of duality, raw nature, earth wisdom, connecting to ancestors. Shadows as the fertile soil for exponential growth. The way forward is in the whisperings of the land, honoring the full spectrum of life. What does heaven on earth look like to you? Do you imagine lush green nature, ancient forests, pristine beaches, crystalline water systems, and all the planets, residents, in full health, living in harmony with each other? And yet nature in its purest, rawest form is a balance of life and death, growth and decomposition, the eaters and the eaten. In one way or another, this is the natural flow of life. We already live in Eden, but our efforts to own and segregate bring us further away from this paradigm. Power trips, the need for imagined security, fear or avoidance of the shadow keep us out of our freedom. The need to persevere or the need to, I'm sorry, preserve and hold on tightly only stunts our growth and leave us drowning in a sea of plastic. The real disease on earth, the barrier to Eden, is in our minds. Y'all see all of these swords, two of swords, five of swords. <laughs> Life happens, but it is our perception of good and bad and our black and white judgments that prevent us from seeing the grander truth. When duality becomes one, we will find Shambhala before us. Perhaps we can find inspiration from nature and the animal kingdom. Does the tiny frog spend its days anxious over its vulnerable future? What happens when we realize fertile compost greets us when we allow ourselves to transmute our pain? When we honor all that came before, our roots are nourished and we grow with more vitality, vibrancy, and life force. We can anchor more light for the collective and in turn, seed new growth. What happens when we realize the keys to our future are in the wisdom of the earth and the dreamings of the indigenous? That the answers are in the geometry of the macro and microcosms the nurturing embrace of oneness in mama nature's arm what happens when we find peace within the full spectrum of life even the notion of separation this disease can be symbolized as no more than a blackened leaf on a healthy tree the ebb and flow of our evolution and devolution or devolution is a temporary blip in the universe. The message is to be what we can to ground heaven on earth, but not out of fear. We often try to avoid or run from negative situations, but when fear steers our decisions and actions, far more devastation can result. When we choose to let our hearts lead us away from stories and outdated patterns, our challenges become the fertile compost that feeds our ascending tendrils as they reach to the heavens and ground its light back on earth. The divinatory meaning. Step out of the black and white mentality of judgment. Go beyond the concepts of good and bad. This card invites you to honor the full spectrum of life and find a new way of perceiving your situation. When we judge something, we create a story around it. These stories often create limitation. Subconsciously, we gather so many of these stories over a lifetime. 
to heal our, heal our disease and crystallize the new way, we need to create a space of no story where miraculous healing can happen. This space empowers us to be all we are and allows us to know our truth. Embrace the full spectrum of creation in all her colors and the raw, muddy, earthbound shadow parts of a situation to determine whether they are actually bad or if stories you have held onto are limiting your perspective. I say, family. So, sources is just saying you need to see the whole picture. You need to how they say you can't see the forest for the trees you need to see the forest you need to see everything don't just look at what's right in front of you don't just judge everything else another thing about that movie um the people in the town the humans in the town they were fearful of going outside the, uh outside of the wall but that is how you grow that is how you learn you can't stay in your little bubble you have to go out and you have to learn you have to expand it's like when you plant a plant when you plant something in a small pot and it starts to grow you have to move it to a bigger pot so that it can keep growing you can't leave it in that little pot and expect for it to keep growing it's not gonna grow it's going to grow to the extent that it can in that pot. So you, that's why the tire moment had to happen because you were stuck in indecisiveness, keeping yourself in environments and in connections where you could not grow anymore. You grew, you couldn't grow to your highest potential in those environments and in those connections because the people that you were with or the environments that you were in were not growing with you. It wasn't that you you had reached your maximum level of growth. It's just where you were, those people or those environments, they couldn't contain you anymore. You had more, more growth needed to happen with you. And it couldn't happen there. You were being contained. You were being smothered. You were being suppressed. Your light could not shine bright there. So that's why Source is saying you got to get out. You have to get out of the limiting thoughts. You have to get out of the mindsets. You have to get out of all that stuff. You have to branch out and expand. And I, that's why I keep hearing Sag. Sagittarius energy is wisdom. Sagittarius energy is exploration. And that's been on every card. You have to explore yourself. You have to explore the world around you. You have to develop your skills and be more aware of yourself and the gifts that you bring into this world so that you can shine your light and be that inspiration family okay the next and you're gonna reclaim your energy because it's already in you everything that you need everything that is required of you is already in you so reclaim your energy family all right let's get that one and we wrap this up and i get to go to bed Okay, reclaim your energy. Number 42. Somebody might be 42 or 24. Okay, recap. What? Recapitulation. Owning your power. Where you put your energy is your choice. Overcoming triggers through self-awareness again. Energy vampires. Didn't I speak about that earlier? Reclaiming your soul fragments. God, y'all. Okay. Observing the observer. Shifting victim mentality. I say. Okay. When we embrace an energy aware lifestyle, we start to notice when we feel drained and ungrounded. We may feel flat or out of our center after spending time with certain people or places. Our energy is our responsibility, and how we give it away becomes a conscious choice as we step into empowerment, that empress energy, baby. But what about the fragments of self we gave away before we came to this awareness? Yes, it is possible to recover and restore yourself to wholeness. In shamanic practice, recapturing and reuniting with lost fragments of ourselves is called recapitulation even when we become aware of the patterning 
that unnecessarily chews up our energy, we may still feel drained by certain people or situations. When we grow our awareness further and take note of the triggers, we see it is always our choice where our energy goes, although it might not feel that way. We may feel we need to give to the people we most care about in a way that depletes us. We may hold a subconscious sense of obligation to others or a belief that our own needs cannot be met until we have taken care of everyone else. We may run ourselves ragged meeting deadlines, keeping customers happy, living up to expectations, or ensuring we have everything our children require from us. Many of us expend energy through drama, self-doubt, self-sabotage, anxiety, and fear. Sometimes we sense we are giving too much, but cannot see exactly how it is happening, or that our effort may be unproductive, even counterproductive, but it doesn't have to be like this. To claim more time and energy from yourself, look at what is and isn't serving you. You may need to make changes in your external environment. More often, the most effective change will be your perception of self. What beliefs and learning serve you? What fear-based and limiting expectations are keeping you from your power? Consciously choose and align yourself with ideas that serve you, and suddenly you will have a lot more energy for the meaningful, inspiring parts of your life. You will also have improved presence and more for your loved ones. We become aware of our patterning through self-awareness. By observing the observer, we are broadened, oh sorry, we can broaden our perspective of how and why we react in certain stimuli. This understanding helps us untangle ourselves from dharma. We can distinguish what is relevant and real to us in the here and now from outdated stories. Instead of reacting when we feel triggered, we can peel back the layers of those moments and claim greater understanding of ourselves and the myths we have unwittingly subscribed to or that others have ascribed to us. So I spoke about that with the projections. Meditation can help us explore and take responsibility for our internal dissonance. Anything that takes you out of the busyness of your mind can heighten your perspective so you can see the bigger picture. (laughs) The forest family. There are other contributors to energy depletion, such as not having enough healthy food or sleep. Diet and lifestyle are easy usually easier to rebalance than our self-beliefs. Illness and environments that affect self-esteem or where our soul does not feel at home or safe are other factors. We may need outside help to reclaim our energy, but having an awareness of what is required is a step closer to being able to fix the problem and can start the healing process. When you are going through tough times, doing something that makes the soul rejoice, even something small is extremely helpful in boosting your energy levels. Divinatory meaning. This card encourages you to be aware of where your energy is going. If you are not at your optimal energy level, it invites you to consider the core of why this may be. You have the power to own your energy and choose where you direct it. Look at situations that trigger drama and anxiety to reduce energy loss. Detach from environments or people that are not healthy for you. It is up to you to make the shift. Victim mentality is no help. So realize you have the power to transform your life and choose healing, self-empowerment. It's time to kickstart the upward spiral to abundant energy and soul presence. I say if that is not the confirmation of this whole reading family you are reclaiming your energy you are reclaiming your light being you are reclaiming your royalty you're reclaiming this 
this abundance that is your birthright that you were supposed to have from birth but was stolen from you because you had to take a food journey you had life lessons you had some karma that you had to deal with some dharma you had some things that you had to work through and you had to gain that wisdom on this material plane you came to this earth for reasons and that's why you didn't get your riches and abundance when you first came here you had to get to a certain level of elevation you had to fight through some things and heals so that when you do gain your abundance when you do gain your wisdom when you do gain your ranking and status and your royalty uh you gain those levels you won't misuse it or abuse it the way you probably did in the past life that is all that is happening and you are getting to the point where you are being able to reclaim your energy, reclaim your inheritance. Family, when I tell you, when I walk through, you are about to walk into your abundance. You are about to walk into your victory. Victory is mine. I just heard you are about, you are gaining progress and momentum. You may be getting a promotion. You're about to, you're about to level up to a certain status. Maybe last week, Things weren't what you thought they were supposed to be. You didn't excel the way you did. Maybe you had some losses. Baby, this week coming and going forward, it's about to be a whole different story. As long as you are self-aware, as long as you are nurturing yourself and loving on yourself and filling your cup before you fill others, protecting your energy, as long as you are separating from these abusive, toxic relationships, as long as you are moving on, accepting things for what they are and moving on and being honest with yourself and keeping some mental clarity, family, you are about to shine so bright. You are getting the keys to the kingdom. You're the key to the kingdom. Oh, you are the remedy. You know what's inside. You're the key to the kingdom. You are the key to the kingdom. You open up the door to your abundance. You open up the door to reclaim your energy. You open up the door to your healing, to your elevation, to your level up. You are the key, family. It is within you. Everything that you need is within you. You just have to go within and pull it out, bring it into this material world. Everything starts within. Family, that is it. That is all. Let me go get some sleep. The card was just getting on me about rest and, and eating habits. So, <laughs> y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Continue to love yourself, protect yourself, and respect yourself along your journey. I love y'all. We got this. We shining bright. We elevating. And we are bringing the heaven on earth. We are in the new earth. And we are bringing heaven to earth, family. Peace.